Hello, hello, this is Ryukata Iyoka, and I'm bringing you guys some Gundam Operation Mix. So, here is what I'm about to do. I'm gonna say. So, I actually haven't explained too much, or I just was pretty much hyper about what Bandai Namco's crazy get rich theme is, but. Okay, so I'm gonna explain a little less about that, a little bit more about that. And the reason I believe that they're doing this is because they're banking on the fact that players are actually spending money to unlock the early access mobile suits and those that will cost about 100k RP and would usually spend about 200 to 300 US dollars or energies and use their time to unlock those mobile seats. Well, I for one am not one of those people. So, okay, so that's it. They're just using this because there are people that are paying a lot of money to early unlock the mobile seats that are on a paywall and now they decide to put those or every, I guess everything if Bandai Namco would do their thing and put them all on the paywall. This, for me, would spell the end for GBO next. I'm not sure, but we'll wait and see in the upcoming few months or yeah, up till the third anniversary of GBO next, which will be in August. So and. Okay, time for a little quick beater. So, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit as well on YouTube's new monetization scheme because of, I guess, a few videos that were published that were uh, not really published but were broadcast slash posted on YouTube and a lot of people saw it. So what happened is that now small time YouTube people are now gonna have a hard time, hard to almost difficult time trying to get some to get some money on YouTube, and I'm gonna about to die. But insane. I think on February 20, I won't reach the threshold to be still part of the monetization scheme of YouTube, and that kind of pisses me off a little bit. So I have to get like 100, 1,000, I mean 500 views and 500 uh, subscribers in the next two days and more just to break even. I don't care if I don't, I'm still part of this monetization scheme, whatever. So let's get back to the match and today. Okay, so today I'm actually doing something different. Not really, but I am bringing up the Atlas Gundam. Well, technically this is still the training version of the Atlas Gundam since I haven't still unlocked the Atlas Gundam. But I believe I still have, I have the Atlas Gundam, so that's all you need to know. It's actually kind of weird that I actually have more video of this mobile suit than the full armor Gundam Thunderbolt sector. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna put it on my tab and put it on other primary chic that I will do some posts on the other mobile suits in the near future. So they'll probably have some justice in not being your double riser, double data, uh, let me see, whatever. Well, whatever else that I usually post. So, I'm just gonna be quiet, I guess? Mm, not really, but you get the idea. So, sit back and relax and enjoy the match! I am not yet being quiet, okay? So, okay, let's... Okay, you got that. Okay, okay, okay. okay, thank you. Ah, well, please. 
more or maybe I guess using a lot of times the double rider I think we get the match point. 10 or 15 or 15 usage of you know purpose level suit so I'm gonna have to grind a little bit more on the other level suits than I should get. But you get the idea. Okay, wow, we actually have this in the bag. And I just got in the I just got shot by the buster. Our buster. Okay. Try and get this tension buster and now I'm about to die. Good job! Kill me. Oh, the duel! Well, maybe they should use this level 16. Or something. I'll use this guy in a later day. Whatever. Hey, that buster is still gonna die, and I am gonna kill. Yes! That is it! Mission complete, and that is game set and match. So, there you guys have it! My recording of the Atlas Gundam. And. You are about to see the results in which I actually did great. So, okay, so here comes my usual shit. <sighs> this is Ryukaz Yuka, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Good day, good day, good day.